Hello everybody, welcome to Casa de Nerd, here we game, I am the Mad Irishman, uh, we are going to be playing some more Cataclysm, Dark Days Ahead today, I uh, changed some of my font settings and it apparently screwed up my game capture, so I'm actually fixing that now. But I thought, you know, while we wait, I'd give you the relaxing sounds of my voice. There we go. That looks better. All right, let's get the main screen turned on here. There we go. Yeah, there it is. Okay. So, yeah, I uh, made some changes to my text settings. And my uh, font settings based on uh, Vormithrax's video from, actually, it was 2018. Most of it's still relevant, though. Uh, so, it looks way better for me. I'm hoping it looks better for you guys. I went back and looked at uh, some of the Yubtub stuff that I uploaded, and it didn't, it didn't look great. So, we're going to have to uh, hope that this is going to work better. Uh, Charlie Bravo and Turkey Bacon, both in the chat saying hi. Appreciate that, guys. Uh, both streamers of Cataclysm, Dark Days Ahead. So let's give them some shout-outs here. If I can type... All right, there we are. Uh, goal for the day for Cataclysm. <sighs> I haven't played since Thursday. And honestly, I kind of don't remember what I was up to. And uh, yeah, look at those beautiful emotes there. I gotta work on getting some emotes. I'll get around to it. Um, I don't remember what I was doing on Thursday. And that's kind of a problem. I don't like that I'm down to playing this two days a week. So I'm going to have to change things up. I want to get this at least three days a week. Because this game's awesome. Uh, there is down below, if you guys aren't already, uh, following. You can hit that follow button. You can hit the Discord link. You can hit the Yubtub link. You can hit the Twitter link. And get all the notifications your pretty little heart desires. And with that, we've gotten all the nonsense out of the way. Let's load in Lee Rusty Massey. Yeah, I I started doing this five days a week, just just a couple hours. You know, I, I only stream about two hours at a time. But uh, and I was like, yeah, I I want to change it up a little bit. And then um, I added Dwarf Fortress. Oh, nod to the strange with the raid. Very nice. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Look at all those new faces. It's amazing. And a follow. Uh, Monahill7. Thank you very much. Ah, uh, I do believe that is my first raid. Uh... Mirth, Mirth, 26? Oh, God. I'm sure I'm slaughtering your name, and I apologize in advance. All right. Very cool. Appreciate it, guys. Very, uh, very new streamer, very small stream. So, uh, everything that's happening right now is very cool. Uh, let's see here. What were we working on? Let me see if I can figure out what I was up to last time. Mirtha. Mirtha. Got it. Look at all those follows! You guys are amazing. Super cool. Super cool. I can't even keep up. Vam Snake. Malika J93. Got him. Got him. Got to call him out. Yeah, I mean, I, 
like bad graphics is... Uh, it, it's a bit strong. Uh, the fake Joseph Morgan. Thank you for the follow. Um, it doesn't have great graphics, and to be fair, it started as a, uh, you know, ASCII text-only game. And some people have done a lot of work to make these tile sets for it. Prince 7100M. Thank you for the follow. Yeah, they're not impressive. What is impressive is that someone took the time to do this for little to no return, other than the fact that, you know, they get their name out there and maybe some donations. Um, <laughs> no, you want to see Minesweeper play it without the tile set. Then you'll see some Minesweeper. All right, so what were we up to? We had the home wrecker on us, so we were smashing things. We got a steel spear we upgraded. Um, oops. I think we were trying to do survivor, survivor gear. Uh, because we got gloves and boots, and we don't unfortunately have the rain hood to make the hood. And we don't have the tailoring skill to go any higher than that. So, <laughs> you know what? There's there's a Twitch stream for everyone. I'm sure there's someone out there who's streaming Minesweeper. Um, I also did change out the uh, sound pack. So I am actually using ATS, uh, the AT symbol. Uh, sound pack because it's supposedly all Creative Commons licensing, so I don't have to worry about getting dinged on YouTube anymore when I upload uh, videos to there. Yep, there you go. Turkey Bacon's got it. All right. Um, we're very hungry. We're very thirsty. Let's let's deal with that first. I like the door opening sounds. And now I'm getting a host by. Mana Hill Seven, you guys are you guys are killing it today, killing it. I love it. I've been streaming for ten minutes, and this is already a, just an amazing stream. Uh, what we got here? We could down some mayonnaise. That's what the hell was that? Did you guys hear that bird noise? I think. Let's down some apple cider. Um, <laughs> getting the, the, uh, errors for the noises because there's the, it's those cows outside and they're just, ugh, God, I hate them. Yeah, I can hear birds flapping in the background. That's really cool. I'm already digging this sound pack. This is very cool. Uh, I added the, uh, the CODA music pack, I think, along with it. Supposed to add a lot of uh, kind of ambient sound and stuff like that, so we'll we'll see how well that goes. Vam Snake also with the host, man. I just I can't even, I can't even, just just killing it. All I'm doing is doing a standing around in a house simulator right now. We gotta we gotta we gotta get something going here. Uh, yeah. Ooh, MBR vest. I am going to need one of those eventually. I don't want to burn all those Kevlar plates, though. Uh, what I got to do is I got to get my tailoring up, and it looks like the only thing I can do is with these chitin arm guards. We did find an ant hill, and I do hate ants. Oh, no worries, man. Uh, I appreciate the follow either way. If you got to go, you got to go, especially with, uh, with schoolwork. It's important stuff. So, I appreciate you even stopping in for a minute. Uh, yeah, so maybe that's what we'll do to uh, to get our tailoring skill up, is we'll make some, uh, some more of these uh, arm guards here. So we can make, what, two of them right now? What's my tailoring at? Oh, we might only have to make one of them. Our chitin arm. Yeah, just make one. Uh, use the string.
All right, did that. Put our skill up. I did. We're at tailoring six now. Good stuff. So let's pick those up. We'll drop them in the sort pile for right now. We'll deal with that later. Okay, so now, whoops, there's no vehicle there. <laughs> uh, we probably don't have enough, but we need survivor. Survivor belt, survivor duster. Okay. We need an army jacket or a duster. We need a raincoat. We need some drop leg pouches, utility vest, fanny packs, leather pouches. Okay. We can do that. Um, that covers the torso, arms, and legs. So, yeah, I definitely want the duster, not the, um, not the trench coat, because the trench coat doesn't cover the legs. Uh, let's see here. Survivor belt would be cool, but we need a sheath. Survivor cargo pants. So we need rags. We need cargo pants. So we need, uh, we need some more stuff, but that's okay. We can disassemble part of the bed. We don't need that big ass. What do you mean I can't deconstruct this? Don't you lie to me. Uh, we don't need this whole bed in here. Uh, we can. We have to butcher the mattress? Yes. Yeah, 60 rags. It's perfect. So that'll give us a ton of rags. In fact, more than we can carry currently. Drop all of that in the unsort pile, along with the home wrecker. I don't think we need that anymore. Yeah, yeah. This is a, a, a not too far in the future 2020 survival simulator. That's basically what we got going on here. Let's take uh, that apart. Ignore the cows. They are not important. Although, last time I left the door open with the cows running around, one of them came into my house and slept in my bed. Like an entitled shit. Alright, let me drop all that stuff in there. Let's sort everything in that out to its appropriate locations. <laughs> 2020 simulator. I mean, it's funny and it's not funny, but yeah, it's basically training for the apocalypse. Uh, what do we still got in here? Uh, nothing I care about. Okay. Yeah, I've so surprisingly, dairy farm, right? Dairy farm. Uh, and there's another. This is a regular farm. There's another dairy farm somewhere that I found that I was in. So three dairy farms that I found. Uh, so, yeah, it's it's basically like being in central Wisconsin. There's just dairy farms everywhere. Crashed airliner. I don't think, uh, I, don't think I noticed that there before. That's pretty cool. Neat. All right, so... For Survivor, we can make the Light Survivor hood now, which we want to do, right? We're not wearing... No, we still got the Balaclava and uh, the Motorcycle Helmet, so... Light Survivor hood, do it! You can't see the craft. God damn it. <laughs> uh, use the Sinew. Sinew. It's kind of a terrifying concept. And I'm just taking literal, like, body parts from animals I've killed and just using them to, to sew. Alright, Survivor Hood. Let's wear the Survivor Hood. Which apparently doesn't conflict with anything else I'm wearing. Really? Oh, because that's over... That's so I'm wearing the survivor hood over the motorcycle helmet. Yep. Okie dokie. All 
All right. So we got that. Uh, we need that uh, that coat. We need the survivor uh, trench coat or survivor duster. That's what we need. So we need a raincoat and a duster. Can we make a raincoat? We can make a rain hood. We need plastic bags. Ugh, gross. Plastic. And yeah, so we can probably go find some of those somewhere. They can't be that hard to find. Alright, where are we going to go exploring? We got a cabin. We got another cabin. We do have to make it back down here to the private resort. Uh, thanks, Malika, for stopping by. I do appreciate it very much. Uh, the private resort did have the... Um... um Oh, God, the keg of beer that we didn't get, and it had the barrel of uh, whiskey that we didn't get. So we'll head back down there, and we'll see if we can... Uh, ah, Murder Unicorn, welcome. Yeah, we'll see if... Oh, that's right, this cube van sucks. We need the other cube van, because it's stuck inside there. Press... What are you, what are you, what are you seeing? Oh, is it seeing the... Uh, oh, that damn German Shepherd. It keeps tracking me and not doing anything, which I'm fine with, but I really wish it would stop safe moding me. Oh, that's right, I remember I got uh, ambushed by a pack of wolves. Huh. <laughs> Made an engine sputtering sound when I tried to start it. There we go. Ah! The sound pack was... Great! <laughs> so I got a murder unicorn and the murder unicorn. Oh, now, now I feel very special. Oh God, don't crash. Especially since I can't see the, any of the back half of my vehicle. Because I busted the mirrors off because driving in this game sucks. Well, you know, maybe you know, it very well could be my fault. It could just be me that sucks. Do -do -do. All right, uh, let's head as far south here as we can. Oh, oh, hello, zombie. Don't know where he came from. And we're back to our old stomping grounds. This was the uh, the other dairy farm that we had shacked up at before we got that one. A zombie child. And yeah, see, this is why we left this place, though. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, turkey bacon is, it's, it's not great. We're, we're, let's, let's not have false pretenses here. But it is healthier, so... Ah, oh, come on. Diabolical strong. That's a strong word. I would classify them as, as not great at best. I would classify them as needs improvement. You know. I, w I wouldn't say it's a failing grade, but it needs improvement. And the graphical uh, over mo uh, overmap mod. I like it. It's, it's missing a few things. You know, there's a couple of houses that don't show up right. But I think I think it makes it look a little nicer. All right, so we're gonna head back down here to this private resort, and hopefully not get uh, ambushed in the process. We got a zombie. Where is he? Yeah. Oh, he's almost dead. I keep finding these three-quarters dead zombies just wandering up this way. I have no idea where they're coming from. I don't think it's a wander spawn. No, don't step in a blackberry bush, you dope. I don't even know where that dude went. <laughs> Fleeing cow. 
Alright. Wasn't there... Uh, maybe we picked it up. I thought there was a Kevlar vest here. That I needed to pick up at one point. That eh, doesn't look like it. Okay. So we're going back into the resort. And we gotta go up to the second floor. There's the keg. Look at that. Keg of Pilsner. Gotta have it. Very important. Uh, it's a little, just a little too uh, voluminous, yikes, uh, for us to carry. But uh, we could we could drag it out of here if we had to. So let's uh, actually wield. We're gonna put the spear away, and we're gonna grab that guy. Yeah, we're overburdened. This is gonna be heavy. Oh, it dropped the spear. That would have been unfortunate. Uh, I'm going to guess this thing is trashed and doesn't drive. No security system. It's got controls. It's got wheels. It's got a battery. It's got gas. Hell yeah, this thing drives. Toss the keg in the back! Now we gotta find that, uh, there's also one other thing. Another one, heavily injured. There's one other thing here that we cannot leave without. And when we get there, I will show it to you. But we're gonna go kill this zombie, because he, uh, is annoying me. Come on over here. 